this will be for my fire signs. Like I told the rest of my signs, y'all excuse the way I look. I have been in the airport all day. I had to leave from Mississippi. I actually had to drive two hours to Louisiana to fly from Louisiana to go to Chicago to come back and then drive back to Mississippi. So I'm tired. Okay, I had to pick up my kid today. Um, yeah, I did a whole cross country. Woof. I did a whole cross country, you know. I'm going to leave that out because I think you need to see that. Whatever. Whole cross country flight today. All right. So, what do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Ooh, we got balance, career, and home life. We also got to see the other person's point of view. For some of you guys, I feel like you're having to see someone's per someone's point of view. I feel right now with balance, your career, and home life, work, and magic, some of you guys are just needing to focus on what you're manifesting in. I feel like you're needing to change your perspective a little bit. The readings today have been really, really good. So let's see if we can get the same thing popping off my fire signs. All right. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. What messages do we have? For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August the 1st. Be quiet. I'm sorry, y'all. My, kid, my kid's home from the summer and his brothers are losing their shit. So like, <laughs> they're happy to see him. I am too. Um, so let's see. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Close the door. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for August 1st, 2019. All right. There is most definitely a transformation that is happening. Something of the past. World card here. Uh, somebody could be transforming away from a situation. What messages do we have? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Some will rise in the messages, guys. For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Some will rise in the news. Messages, guys. For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Some will rise in the news. This is for August 1st, 2019. All right, so let's see what we got. Sagittarius. Actually, no. Starman is the magician. Virgo, Gemini energy here. And Gemini's got some shit popping off. So, you know, um, I feel like someone is manifesting some things, bringing things together. The, the magician brings things together. He, and I say he because it's a masculine energy, does not have to be a man, but it is a masculine energy of speaking into what it is that he desires. Could be dealing with the Gemini lover's card under here. Shit, shit. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Gemini, could be dealing with the Virgo. Seven of Swords here. There may be some deception. We're going to see what's going on with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords here is not deception. It is someone escaping some shit. Look, he's escaping that box. He done broke that bitch up too. So somebody could be violently escaping a situation. Um, Page of Cups here could be dealing with a younger... Um, I don't feel like so. You could be dealing with a young energy in love. This could be a new situation. For some of you guys, or new energy around a situation... I feel like here's someone with the Page of Cups or Princess of Cups here could be identifying emotions. It's like they're in the circle. Someone's a focus. Someone's understanding what the focus of emotions is. So I feel like someone's identifying emotions. With the Two of Cups here, this is about a relationship. This is about the health of a relationship. Y'all see that? Uh, I forget what you call it, but that sign right there is, is about good health. If y'all ever see that, like when you go to the hospital or they have it sometimes in the um, signs, where did I see that at? Um, Scrubs, Sacred Heart. You remember they had that little sign there? I wanted to figure out what it meant. But it's for good health. It's actually a um, a symbol. I think it's a I think it's a Greek symbol, or I'm not sure if it's a Greek symbol or an Egyptian symbol. Somebody put it down in the comments where that symbol originates from, and the name for me, please, because I don't know. But I do know it means good health. So this could be about good health within a relationship. Someone could be escaping a relationship that may be. Um, and maybe going toward good health. There's some deception here. Now, swords here. Maybe someone has some anxiety about escaping. Somebody, Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody's moving in a new direction, making a decision here too. Somebody's making a decision to escape an unhealthy connection that has caused them to have anxiety. Okay then. So this is a good read. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what pops off. Emperor here, Aries energy here, Justice here, Libra here. I feel like someone is getting. Because someone is is taking control, I feel like someone is getting like fairness, like just do. You're getting what you deserve in a good way. Like the justice card upright means that you're getting the good the the good end of the stick, not the bad end of the stick. So you're getting 
what you've put into a situation. Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Hopefully it's not deception. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I feel like somebody's running the fuck away, though. I feel like someone's escaping. Like, you know, usually the, the Seven of Swords represents someone lying, cheating. But here, I mean, I feel like, look, I mean, he running. He's taking his one little sword, which actually he's taking his two little swords. So he's taking his whatever was blocking him, whatever blocked his vision from before. He's tearing that away and he's really moving with his decision. So someone's made a decision because there's two swords there. Someone's made a decision to bus free of a situation escape why is the seven of swords here ooh. five of pentacles here four of swords here this is listen those two ooh, king of wands there you go yeah someone's moving forward four of swords here really um someone is retreating from a situation i feel like the deception here is because someone's going to be left at a lack so either that means that someone is taking something from a relationship um with swords, they may be taking the truth or taking their truths and moving away with that. Um, they could be leaving behind a lot of conflict. So someone's escaping because that's basically what it is. You got all these five swords. I mean, you got these five swords that are in this box that's all jacked up here. And somebody's just taking, they're just making the decision with the two of swords to run away or escape that type of conflict or the feeling of being conflicted. Five swords there, five pentacles here. I feel like someone is just wanting to put an end to Feeling at a lack or putting into either some money issues. Um, someone's moving forward. Someone is. Someone has went within themselves and they're king of wands here. Ooh, shitting me. Someone's taking a leap of faith moving forward. Someone's escaping the situation. Escape orders. Okay. Okay. I'm, 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 We're going to see. I kind of dig it. I, I'm still kind of iffy about it. I did not pull the magician on that. So I do not feel like anyone's manipulating the situation. I really feel like someone's taking a leap of faith and escaping something. They may be back and forth within their head about it. Um, I don't know if you're the person that needs to see someone else's perspective, especially if you're leaving behind a situation because you feel like it's too conflicting. But I kind of feel like, we'll see. Why is this page of cups here? Ace of swords, two of wands. Two of cups shit me. Someone's making a decision. Could be making a decision to go towards someone new. Could be making a decision to go toward whoever has this inkling of your emotion. Whoever you've identified to hold your heart here. Someone is like the center of attention. Look at her. We talk about the page of cups. Look at her. She's like the center of attention. Like all eyes are on her. So someone may be choosing to focus on that. Ace of Swords seeing clearly, having mental clarity. Two of Wands. Someone has mental clarity with the Ace of Swords and is at a crossroads about a connection, about a relationship. So this could be someone making a decision about it because this is past energy here. Someone could have been at a crossroads about a relationship, maybe dealing with a younger uh, water sign. Someone could be making a decision to either go toward that or move away from it. We're going to see here because either that young water sign turned into the Queen of Wands or you could be deciding to move in a new direction. Will of Fortune. Ooh, that was the underlying energy for the Earth signs. Check that out. So two of cups in the surrounding energy with the nine of wands in reverse. Someone here no longer wants to fight. They're resisting. Ten of wands, yes. Okay, so someone was dealing with imbalances within a relationship. They feel like the, the most... They're making a the decision. Someone is making a balanced, harmonious decision about a relationship in order to either bring health to it or to create a healthy relationship elsewhere. Someone could be making a decision, nine of wands here, to no longer fight. So someone's no longer fighting for a relationship. Ten of wands, two of pentacles, laying the burdens down of the instability of the situation. Someone is moving forward. I think you're starting to see, if you're not starting to see this person's point of view, you may be starting to see someone else's, but I think here, because there's been a lot of conflict here, you could have been holding on to a situation because of money. Maybe now you're starting to see someone else's point of view. So you could be take, making a decision to escape a situation and take a leap of faith toward innovating a new path for yourself. With nine of swords here, there is some anxiety. So someone does have a lot of anxiety. The thing about it is the nine swords here, Sagittarius energy here, temperance, divine timing. With nine of swords, the swords are imaginary. And even within this, she is the one that's holding herself down. The swords are open. Look, she does not have one sword above her. Yes, she got all that shit above her head, but that's all the shit that she's creating. That's nothing real. It's not real. 
Even the swords that are here, I'm sorry, even the swords that are here, she can get up and walk out of that shit. So all of this is imaginary. The nine of swords is just something that you're creating. Temperance here, queen of pentacles here, high priestess here, yeah. Some of you guys know that it is time for you to really be nurturing to self, especially when I get the queen of pentacles, queen of cups here. I feel like here, um, now some of you guys, this could be, no, because I, even though I do have high priestess, this could be something happening. So there could be some anxiety about something happening under, like, underneath it all, like underneath all of the, from surface shit, from the, Underneath the surface, there could be a lot of anxiety about something that is hidden. But someone here may be trying to balance out a situation. I don't feel like that. I feel like this is a divine time and someone is moving forward. Someone is moving. Queen of Wands is moving, even though she's not moving. So they may not be moving forward. Someone just may be making a decision and having anxiety here. With temperance here, trying to have patience, following their intuition. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups is about nurturing yourself. These two queens, out of all the other queens, they're the most self-nurturing. Not selfish, not just all 11-11. So someone may be making a decision to nurture themselves because of some anxiety dealing with the situation. This is called a cause of Queen of Wands to move in a new direction. The only queen that is missing is the Queen of Swords. So the decision has already been fucking made. Someone's making a decision to really... I think to lay the burdens down of a relationship, to create a positive resolution so that they can move forward into their own path. I feel like someone may have been underestimating themselves and now they're starting. I feel like someone's starting to see someone else's point of view. So why is this Queen of Wands here, Nine of Swords here, Devil Card here? Yeah, someone had a lot of anxiety about moving in, in a different direction. They still have a lot of anxiety about moving in a new direction. But someone is manifesting something new. And I really feel as though Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, someone is moving toward a brand new opportunity. Someone's moving. Devil here, Nine of Swords. There, I mean, this is this is anxiety at its finest. Okay. Um, but someone here is is they're looking out to the universe. Now, they're starting to see, someone's starting to see someone else's point of view. And I really feel like even though there is, I don't see any actual movement, the decision is major because I feel like there, there was a, no, someone couldn't make a decision before. So now someone is, could be escaping their own anxiety, to be honest with you. I feel like someone's no longer underestimating themselves. They see either within themselves, they see. Someone's taking action. So let's see what messages, even though they're not, the decision is action because there was no decision before. So let's see what messages we have. We got fairness here. I told you someone is going to get what they put in. So it says the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Some of you guys need to focus your intentions. It says keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Honor the cycle. So some of you guys understand that you're in a cycle and you're focused on bringing peace to that so that you can move forward. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. And understand that there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. This is, this is all right. I kind of like this one too. I feel like some good energy popping off tomorrow. That's all I got. Until next time, y'all. Peace.